こんにちは僕はロッキーで今日はまたアドさんにリアクションしてます。Today, yo, we are going to be reacting to some more ado. And welcome back.、Uh, welcome back to me and welcome back to you guys because, of course, it's been a minute.、Uh, it has been a minute very intentionally though because,、uh, just as I've been saying in a couple of my other videos, just in case anyone was wondering,、um, yeah, we, we ran into some copyright troubles and just with Japanese content in general. And it was a little,、uh, it was a little, things were, we were in dire straits. Let's just say that for a bit. And、uh, so I kind of decided to ease my foot off the pedal. With、uh, just Japanese reactions in general, I do certain things、um, and not kind of like test my luck a little bit too much because we had some strikes on the channel and stuff like that. But either way, they are gone now and we are back. And I am excited because, of course, Ado has a massive year coming.、Uh, I've seen all of her announcements and kept up with that. I follow her Twitter religiously. And、uh, she, she is one really cute, bro. She's so funny, of course. Um, she is an absolute sweetheart in her lives. I've seen、um, even just like her tweets as well, too. She's always really fun、uh, to kind of keep up with, so I absolutely love that. But today, we're kind of going to go back、um, to some songs that、uh, we've already heard before. So we've heard Odo, and of course, we've heard Usewa. But、uh, today, we're going to be listening to the remixes of them or alternative versions. So today, we've got the Bon Odo remix, we've got the Usewa Giga remix, and Giga, Giga I really like a lot、um, as a producer. So I'm very excited, of course, to see、uh, what Usewa is going to sound like because it's a very unique song in itself. And then, of course, after that, we have got the Usewa piano version, which a lot of you guys have actually recommended that I check out.、Um, but I thought that I would go ahead and react to.、Um, Yeah, probably just when I do this. I've had this type of video in the works for a while now,、um, and of course, we're finally getting to it. Now, some of you guys might be wondering,、uh, Locke, why are you not reacting to the Teddy Lloyd remix of Yoru no Piero? And that's because I haven't heard the original yet. So, when I do the original for Yoru no Piero, I'll do the original and the Teddy Lloyd remix at the exact same time as well, too. So, just in case. But anyway, I digress. Soro soro jikan des, bro. Ikimashou ka. Massive old like full screen 321. <laughs> One of my favorite songs, bro. b o m b o m Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. Ah, ah. Dude, even the teeth are sharp too. Ooh! So, so, the Ika! Ooh, bro, this is dark as fuck! Ah! Bah! I'm banana KO! Oh, I buy this. Say no. Oh, 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 Ah. Holy fuck, dude, the drums, the do 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 the drums are insane. Look at look at how the watch time for this ramps up to like it ramps. Holy fuck, bro. It's just a game, it's a game. アドらしい。いや。It's so アドブ。プレプレプレ。Hey yeah. Oh dude, I love that. How the lyrics appear like they do on the trains and shit. Is this hard style? What? Oh 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 oh. Is this hard style? Wow, wow, o t o r i d a s e o t o r i d a s e hey, 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 hey. Oh, dude, she l 
like sweating too? Holy. Ugh. Dude, what's wild is... Dude, I didn't think actually... I didn't think actually... I did not think... I did not think that for a second anything could rival the original. Here's the way that I think about remixes just in general, right? Remixes are great, and I mean, people define remixes differently as well too, but it's like, um, like when it's, when, when there's more added to it, when there's more added to it and it feels like a reinterpretation of the song, yet at the same time, there is still those fundamental aspects of the song that you know and that you love and that you look out for and hang on to. I think that that is when you have like a successful remix. Now, bro, Giga, Teddy Lloyd, I can't remember who the other producers are as well too. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, we'll get there. So, Teddy Lloyd, Ador, Giga, Teddy Lloyd. And then Deco 27. Like, was that it? Yeah, okay. Like, the fact... The fact that we have that, the fact that we, like, the, that it's being reinterpreted in this way, and also that, like, it's basically just a brain-melting, mind-fuck piece of absolute beauty is insane. Like, I don't even know if I could describe that. I mean, much like any other other reaction that I've ever done, I've really kind of, like, lost for words at the end of it anyway, because I feel like she's just the type of artist and, and, and like and when I say just her but I also mean her production team as well too you just kind of sit there and you know like you will seen that meme where it's like some dude is like sitting outside like on a runway or something like behind a jet like you know like he's like sitting on a chair or some shit like that wearing like a suit and a tie and something like that and then he's sitting literally behind a jet engine the jet engine like goes and he straight up just like gets blasted in the face, tires like flailing around and shit. Like it's, that's literally the type of vibe, bro. It's like you're literally just behind a jet engine and you get blasted in the face every time. Every time. Odor itself as a song sounds insane. That's fucked. <laughs> like, like that's fucked. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Usewa is going to sound like. I don't even remember who the original... Hang on, let's... Who's the original... Who's the original composer for Usewa? Let's find it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Shudo, okay. Right. So, Shudo and Itai, Itai Naoki. Okay, cool. So, completely different producers. <laughs> Giga, let's go, bro. I'm ready. This is going to be insane. This shit's about to fucking make my eardrums bleed. We've been new. Oh, nah. Okay. Look, okay. Let me be real. I'm going to commit sacrileeds for a second. Usewa, um, I don't mind. I think Usewa, the original version, I think it's a, I think it's a good song. It's not one that I replay a lot out of her, like, catalog, out of her discography just in general, but I enjoy it for what it is. This, though... Um, do we have these on streaming platforms? Because if so, I think that I might need to, um, rethink my life choices. Giga! Giga. Uh. Dude, Giga is such a good producer. Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh, dude, I love this sound, man. I love this sound, man. Hey, hey. Bump, bump. Oh, hey. Bump, bump. Hey, hey, hey. Shit. What's Oh. Hey, hey, bro. Okay, it's this, this like almost euphoric dubstep type vibe I love. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, no, once again, I, I say this, bro, in all honesty, like, in all honesty, I think I love the remix more than the original, that's wild. Ugh. Ah. Dude, it's just I love the atmosphere of this song. Hey, hey. Okay, bro, this is taking me back to EDM music festivals. I love Giga. Giga, I love you, bro. Oh! Oh, bro. Oh, my God. I love this. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bomb. That brass. Oh, Giga-san, daisuki. Daisuki da yo. Bro, holy shit. It. I am sweating. I'm sweating. My legs are sweating. I've sweat on my legs. <laughs> oh dear. Man. Oh man. Look, I, I feel like um, like one thing I loved about the One Piece film red soundtrack that we got, for example. One thing I really loved about that was uh, I think we got to hear Ado's voice in a variety of different ways. And a lot of that was thanks to the producers, obviously, uh, across all of the different songs as well, too. Now, uh, forgive me for not being able to remember all of them off, um, off the riff. You know, I can't um, do that because there's a lot that uh, I still need to get to know a lot better. But um, off of that, you know, I know that uh, we even had Vondi, so Bondi, Bondi doing uh, Gyakko. There's tons of different types of ways, I think, that her voice was able to come out. And uh, I absolutely loved that, and I thought that that was fucking awesome. But if I'm being real, one of the, th like, one of the sounds I think that I love is hearing Ado with Giga and Teddy Lloyd. Like, I really just think that they bring out her voice in a way that I really love. Uh, I think especially with just this like that type of vibe the remix is just brilliant but like i just love hearing her voice in like that edm type of like concept i think that her voice can fit anything so realistically ado is going to be able to go absolutely anywhere but i feel like as well too uh when we're talking about like just producers like japanese producers that i've really started enjoying a lot um, Bondi, Bondi is like a, a one that I really love. Um, Bondi, I think that he's amazing. Ibu, so Eve, I think is incredible as well too, even though Eve is an utaite, at least as far as I'm aware by definition. And, um, <laughs> the crazy part is, is that then you start looking at like, you know, everything else that we've got out there and Giga and Teddy Lloyd just produce some of the most hype, crazy, just mind melting, face melting, want to internally implode type of shit I think that I've heard and I absolutely love it maybe because I'm nostalgic for those certain types of sounds because they take me back to a time where I feel like I really used to enjoy them but I still do enjoy them but I feel like I'm able to like I feel like the sound that they produce is exactly like exactly like hitting the nail clean on the head exactly that type of EDM sound that I really used to like absolutely enjoy because even then with EDM sounds I was really picky but 
like Teddy Lloyd, Giga, they hit it. I, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. I love that. Anyway, I think massive props to her producers just in general, but Giga, Teddy Lloyd, absolutely incredible. Anyway, we've got Usewa, the piano version. Now, this is just Ado. A lot of people have said as well too that for Ado, if I want to get to like know her a little better or if I wanted to like get, get the closest to like we have seen her face, this is the video because this is actually her. Uh, in the in the mirror in the reflection now ado being an utaite means that she doesn't show her face so no one actually knows what she looks like um once again if i'm using this definition correctly my apologies still getting used to uh some of those terms and educating myself and stuff maybe one day i'll do an essay on it who knows but either way um she is absolutely incredible it would be awesome to see her in concert one day even honestly even if she was just there if she was completely covered i'd be like no nah, i don't care bro it's amazing <laughs> let's go and so i'm really excited for this but piano version as well too uh, i assume that she's going to be playing and singing at the same time so i can't wait three two one she is also voice is live how do you sing like this girl I don't think she's playing that damn. Okay, she's just singing. <laughs> just. Come out, she's doing the most. How do you sound like this, bro, like in real life? Like, how is it not an effect? Mm, oh, oh, bro, like the, the grit. The grit, like her range is fucking mental. I just, <laughs> she's just crazy. I can't say anything other than she's, she's fucking insane. Just say your bite. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, <bet. laughs> That's all. Right. Her flow is crazy, bro. Like the way she sounds insane, like she's going insane. And... With the piano, oh. The screaming is just... I just... Don't understand how a human can do that, bro. With that much control, like... The way she is able to like control her voice so that she's screaming and then sounding absolutely gorgeous with her voice next she transitions in and out of it so well Her voice is a national treasure. <laughs> Her voice is a national treasure, bro. What do you say? What do you say? And she even looks at the camera, bro. What do you say? What do you say? Jesus Christ. 
honestly, what do you say? You don't say anything, bro. You just shut up and you listen. And that's exactly what we do. She's She's got complete control over everyone's ears when you're listening to her. And for her ability to just do that, I'm not going to say effortlessly, because it's not effortless. Obviously, she puts in an absolute ton of work and has put in so much work to hone her voice like that. But, like, for, for her to just be able to execute that the way that she does and for it to come out the way that she does, the way that it does, for her voice's range to be that big, where she's got the ability to just scale between everything and make it seem so easy is crazy. Like, she's just awe- like, I'm awestruck, I feel like, when we react to her, when we listen to her stuff. I'm straight up just sitting there and I go, <laughs> like, that's about it. And it's just, I can't say anything else, because what else can you say? Sometimes fewer words are more, but sometimes less is more. But, like, really, Adoi is just, she's a phenomenon, bro. She is something completely different, and she is, she is built in a way, I think, that just others aren't <laughs> that's just how it is and that's just the facts she's built in a way that others aren't and um i love her i think that she is brilliant man she is absolutely freaking brilliant anyway thank you so much for tuning in today uh once again i'd just like to say it, it's really good to be back reacting to some more Ador, and I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well too but um i really want to see if bon Odo and also the giga remix of usewa are on Spotify. Um, the piano version, maybe. Maybe. I'm hoping. But um, let's check out Bon Odo, actually. Is Bon Odo... <gasps> it is! Oh, my God. It's on Spotify. Hang on. Usewa. Oh, my God. I am so... Ooh, I'm so grateful, bro. Thank God. Oh, that's amazing. Giga Remix. Please. Oh, it's on Spotify, bro. Oh, thank God. I know some artists don't do this. And I'm so glad that they did. <laughs> oh my god, there's even the piano version? <laughs> there's even the piano version. Okay, all three of them are in my playlist. G fucking G, bro. GG. That's all I have to say. She's amazing. She's so real for that. I have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for more other and more Japanese reactions because, of course, more coming at you very soon. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Love and appreciate you guys. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.